Colliding with people or objects on your way can be really annoying. Ouch. That one is going to leave a mark. Well, sorry won't fix that. On computer networks, signals can collide on a shared network segment. This causes the original message to be destroyed and makes the link unavailable for a certain period of time. Now, let's find out what is going to happen when collisions occur on a network and how Ethernet solves this problem without having to say sorry. Hello guys, welcome to my presentation on CSMA slash CD on Ethernet. I will discuss how collisions are prevented and managed on Ethernet based networks. Collisions can occur on a computer network when two or more devices attempt to send data at the same time through a single wire strand. An example is the bus network, where communication cannot take place in both directions simultaneously. This mode of communication is called half duplex. In order to prevent collisions on Ethernet based networks, a mechanism known as carrier sense, multi access, and collision detection was developed, which applies to half duplex communications. This is how it works. If PCA attempts to send data to PCB, it uses carrier sense to listen for any ongoing transmission. Since all devices on a shared network segment always receive the send data, it is easy to detect an ongoing transmission. While listening for traffic on the link, if any other PC is sending data at the moment, PCA has to wait for the transmission to end before it attempts to send data again. In a scenario where PCA listens for traffic on the link and discovers that the link is available, PCA places its data on the link until the transfer is complete. Multi-access. It means data sent by one device is received by multiple devices, which is true for a bus network connection. This means there is a possibility that two PCs may coincidentally listen for ongoing transmission on the link. If they discover that the link is available for use and they send data at the same time, a collision will occur. Now, this is how Ethernet handles collisions. A collision causes two different signals to get mixed up and this forms a signal having twice the power or amplitude of the original signal. Think of this as the resultant noise effect produced when two people are talking at the same time in a room. The sound gets louder, but nobody gets to be heard clearly. If this happens on a computer network, the devices sending data use collision detection to detect this rise in signal amplitude and immediately stop data transmission as signals are now unstable and corrupted and would no longer make sense to the receiver. Next, the sending devices send a jamming signal on the link. It basically tells all the devices to back off from sending data on the link as a collision has occurred. When devices are notified of this collision, each device runs a back off algorithm where a countdown time is generated randomly. It is done to allow the existing collision to subside because devices won't transmit data during this time. After these random times are generated, the probability of a collision occurring will be minimal because devices will take turns in sending data based on the device that generates the least time. Check out the questions on the next slide. Watch out for the Ethernet frame to understand the formation and composition of an Ethernet frame on a computer network. Please leave a comment, subscribe to this channel, and share so others can benefit too. Thank you for watching.